today is a culture of violence. And before us today, we have my brothers and sisters from what you'd call Luanyanza that has become some kind of caliphate where Raila Odinga and his family try to reign supreme. And if you dare have a different opinion, then you're bludgeoned to get online. It is a militia with a structure and with a command structure that they are able to unleash to get you to step on line. We saw a bit of it yesterday uh, when one of the two journalists were assaulted at Orange House. Was it? Wiper House. And this is not new, and I think it should be something we should be of concern to all Kenyans. That culture, we saw it when Kalembe Ndile was caned somewhere in Kitui, and it was considered a joke that time. We saw the same thing when uh, Honorable Magerer was marched out of Orange House in a most humiliating way by the same people we call goons. I think my brother, uh, Babu Namwamba, witnessed the same culture of violence and disruption when they had the elections which were disrupted by men in black. And I could go on and on. Journalists in Kisumu called me, and they have told me this before, that because they live in that community, they dare not report, make reports that they may feel may rub ODM the wrong way. And even our media houses seem to have been intimidated to submission. So that when the kind of thing that happened yesterday, they dare not put these people to account because ODM NASA themselves boast that they're the newsmakers. So the media houses need them. Now, we may take this lightly, but this is how a state of violence a state of people paying back, a state of everyone organizing their own militia to deal with another militia precipitates. And when that precipitates, then the country will get out of control. And I'll give you an example. This week, or last week rather, my driver, in the village, who is a very humble person and comes from Bondo, was on his way home. He was confronted just because he's a driver who helps my mother in the village. And they threatened to burn him, and they beat him up. Fortunately, good sense prevailed, and they let him go. How about if they killed him? What action was I going to take? Do I have the option also to organize my own militia? Everybody should remember that goons are available for hire. Goons are available for hire. So if some people think that they can visit violence on others, and they will get away with it. It will not happen. And I want to appeal to Honorable Raila and his team in NASA that don't threaten us. Don't. My mother is in the village. Harm her, and I will harm you too. You can take that to the bank. 
take that to the bank. And if a point reaches that any of us decides that we are not going, we are not going to obey the rule of law, so that you can go and beat people, humiliate them. My own family has been the subject of a lot of verbal attacks. And I can take verbal attacks, no problem. You can say whatever you want to say. Go physical, and you'll pay heavily for that physical action you take. Now, multiply what I'm saying by 100, by a thousand, and I want to tell the NASA people themselves, you allow that to take root, you will not be able to exist in that place which you think is your caliphate. Because violence begets violence. So I think that I need to request all of us, and especially the media in this country, the international community, the NGOs, the civil society, that it cannot be that civil society only talks about police brutality and they somehow think that when some political formations, specifically ODM, because actually NASA does not exist, I think that has died its natural death the way God died, that when ODM visits violence on people, then that is fine. I want to be able to tell them it is not fine. We'll follow the rule of law. We owe allegiance to our, to our constitution. But I repeat, don't threaten us. Don't visit violence on us, because violence begets violence. I really don't think that I want to say much more. I think we should give chance to those, some of those who are seated here. Many of them came to my office yesterday. The 11 who are here today are out of more than 50 who have come to Jubilee headquarters. But they're so terrified. Most of them are so terrified that the ones you see here are the brave ones who are ready to come and say, look, enough is enough. Let me be shown on television. I'm ready to go back to my village. And if they want to kill me, let them kill me. These 11 you see here. I released the rest who have been abused women who have been humiliated, their mothers have been beaten up, and they squam. And my challenge to the media fraternity, you allow these to take root and they get away with it. I've heard them say that they're going to boycott Nation NTV some time back. One of them stood up and, say, and, and told the country to boycott NTV because they are not happy with the NTV at that particular moment and time. And probably NTV squams. Oh, they're scared. What will ODM do? OK. Yesterday, it was the turn of citizen to face the music for having dared to corroborate the story of IEBC with respect to turnout. And I could see Citizen squirmed. It was not even the lead story. They felt that, hey, these guys are too powerful. They would not, you know, they, will, they could call on, the one, on, on their followers to boycott our station. Next time, it will be the standard, and they will be picked one by one and a time will come that you'll be so terrified, that your journalists will be so terrified that the truth will never come out. So at the end of the day, you allow that culture of violence to germinate, that culture of intimidation to germinate and grow and mature, and you'll pay for it 
in the long run. Thank you very much. That's all I wanted to say in terms of uh, a few remarks. Thanks.